Welcome to Warriors TV. Today we are catching up with new Warriors coach Tony Han. So first of all, Tony, um, well, thank you for for coming back to us. And uh, well, how's how's the last few weeks been going for you? It's been good, going good, Adam. Uh, it's been really, really busy. Uh, myself and uh, Willie uh, in the background have been doing a lot of work. Uh, we've had a, a kind of a lot of meetings with with the sponsors, potential sponsors, and existing sponsors, just to to sort of consolidate. Uh, the sponsorship, what we're offering this year, which is the, the uptake has been uh, fantastic. Uh, we've met with the rink, and the, the rink have been one, they've been fantastic. They've been more than more than helpful to try and make can accommodate us when when uh, we, we need anything that uh, possibly we didn't we didn't realise we needed again a few months ago, uh, and they've been great. Uh, again, we've had a, obviously we've had a chat with some of the players, uh, uh, and basically we're just trying to the team together just now. Uh, we're still sort of looking for a few more players, but I, everything's going really well just now. And obviously, I, I have to say the fans' uh, response so far uh, has been absolutely overwhelming. Uh, when we in, when we first took over, but like, we didn't know what to expect because it was, it was a new venture. Uh, and obviously, they had uh, David and Paul there who'd done a great job uh, previously, and uh, we were sort of you know, came in there uh, you know, about, about a month after they'd they'd stepped down. So again, obviously, we didn't know what to expect, but the the the, the actual uh, reception has been fantastic. Well, that's great to hear. Um, you mentioned it about the, the engagement with the fans. Now, part of that was having that fan forum, which you attended um, about a month ago. Now, um, so I mean, that was that was really successful, wasn't it? Yes, it's good. But it's, you have to engage with the fans, and and you have, at the end of the day, that that's your that's that's it's a little cliche. That's your bread and butter. That's what it makes the. Uh, again, makes the the the, the place successful uh, or, or not, uh, and and, get, and and obviously the, we know that down there in the northeast they're very passionate about their ice hockey and they've been over the in d- decades and decades. Uh, so it's important for us to put a good team on ice that they can come and watch each week and, and be proud of. Uh, so as I say, engaging with the fans is, is obviously when Willie and I uh, took over. Uh, the reins there uh, was engaging uh, and making sure that they were they were they were again obviously they had a uh, again would like to listen to what they, they want uh, but also as well we have a direction we feel that again the team has has to go as well so it's basically just making sure that again, we're, they, they are again we do listen uh, but obviously sometimes it won't be what again all the things that what they want to hear but uh, we're doing it for the best reasons. Yeah, Tony. One of the things that's impressed you is is how the, the community and the Warriors fans have really got behind this new era and this uh, this new vision. Yeah, it's it's, it's been brilliant uh, so far, Adam. The 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 the, the passion that from that we've had from the the, the fans and the, and the sponsors in the northeast has has been overwhelming. And I'm not just saying that lightly. Uh, they, they're actually wanting to help the team to do well, which is really really pleasing for. Ourselves who are involved in the players and obviously the ice rink. Uh, it was great, and obviously we've, we've done our, our sh- and that they were involved in this, obviously picking the the team shirts uh, the t- again for next year, which was good, and that they, their actually participation in that uh, showed that again how much they really want to be part of this. Uh, and obviously we put the sponsorship package out for the the players, uh, personal shirt sponsors, and that, that I don't know, I don't know where we are just now, but we're well over well over halfway through I think now. With the players and that over one or two days, that's that's phenomenal. So yeah, it, it, we're, it's been it's been a fantastic uh, journey so far. This week we've had some glorious weather. We're we're approaching summer, but um, as you said, it's not really been uh, any time to rest for yourself and Willie. So we're almost about halfway through the, the close season now, only a couple of months away from pre season. So um, how do you think it's gone so far? Are, are we on target? Do you think for for you thought about for players? Yeah, I think I think right now we're up to about seventeen or eighteen players, and we're still looking to sign at, at least a, at least a couple more, um, possibly three more. Uh, like obviously, at, at least at least two of the players like we're looking for a, a offensive sort of uptake. Uh, who could players who could possibly can run power plays or uh, can definitely can put the puck in the back of the net or or help put the puck in the back of the net. So we're looking for some offensive players because we, we did lose a little bit of offense. Uh, from the players who have stepped down from last year, uh, and also you know, we've got a few younger guys we need to bring in, so it's it's it's, it's can, to give them an opportunity, and not put all the in the, the the weight on their shoulders. So, can for me as a team, it's important to obviously have the, the goal spread around. Uh, I think when teams are just one dimensional, if you just get one or two guys uh, doing all the 
the score on it that you can see the team doesn't uh, I don't think it ever uh, plays to the potential uh, because obviously you're, you're relying on or, or maybe getting way more ice time or players aren't getting enough ice time so for us we'd like the, the, the scoring to be sort of stretched to the team uh, but obviously to do that we need to be a wee bit more experienced at least for the first year uh, to allow some of the younger guys to, to breed in so yeah I'm, I'm quite happy the way things are going well, that's great to hear. Now, one of the new names to come on the roster for this coming season is Adam Robinson. So, uh, I mean, you probably know a little bit more about him than, than perhaps the Warriors fans do. So, what what can the Warriors fans expect from him this season? Do you think? Well, well, I think he'll definitely work. He, he definitely gives a hundred percent effort each week. Uh, he'll work hard. He'll he'll do all the little things right. Uh, he's and, and Adam, I'm pretty sure we haven't seen the best of Adam. I know he's. A, I think as Adam was 25, 26. But I think last year, I think through COVID and then last year we've done a lot of travelling and never really practised as much, nowhere near as he needed to be to be the potential player he is. Uh, he has spent a lot, he, I know he was training with the Belfast Giants uh, quite a bit like over the again, over the years, but that doesn't that doesn't really, okay, you've got to be working with your team, you've got to be working with your teammates, you've got to be working uh, with, uh, again, your coach, uh, again, if you're just coming in basically the games, it's tough on them. And I, I do think it was tough for him last year. Uh, but obviously, as you say, if you can get any ice you can get, again, uh, with the Giants that are allowed to do so, that's fantastic. And it's really appreciated uh, by us and Adam. But it's important for him to get across here and get practice so we can actually work with his teammates, so we can work with them. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward that's, I'm looking forward to working with him. Uh, but one thing, I, when I spoke to him, it, it was really, again, it, it pinned on me how passionate he was about come to Whitley Bay and play ice hockey in Whitley Bay. Uh, and one of the first things when I do speak to players, and some players I don't get a good feel for, and some I do, uh, but he's one of the guys I felt that was, was really passionate about wanting to do well uh, and give me all the right. When you're as a coach and you've got experience, I've had quite a lot of experience dealing with players. Uh, when you have players who uh, are passionate about doing well and wanting to improve and want to compete, it does make it a lot easier to, to, to sign them. Yeah, well, well, that's all positive to hear. Um, now, uh, as we mentioned before, August is approaching, um, just, just well, six weeks away, I, I guess. Um, thoughts on on how that's going to go and uh, with, with pre-season starting, the training? and Yeah, well, too much. What, just, just, just to kind of go on a little bit, just about the players we're signing. We're, at the moment, obviously, in the meantime, we're looking for at least one import. Uh, because uh, because of the rules and regulations, they have to, they have, to have all the, 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 cri- the correct criteria for uh, being able to again, uh, get his ITC or play in the country. So obviously, if there's any if there's imports or players who have played here uh, pre Brexit with European passports, we can we are interested in speaking to them if they're at a decent level. Uh, because we're not one average players for the last two or three guys. We're looking for uh, guys who are you say are going to make the difference. Uh, they will, and that's what we're looking for. That's what I'm looking for just now. Uh, as for pre-season, we, we start on the 9th of, I think it's the 9th of August, uh, and obviously the guys are already on a fitness program. Uh, I'm expecting them to show up in as best shape as as as, of, uh, as they can, and uh, and that will be as preparing for the season because we can. Uh, it's like we we pre- you prepare an off season for the new season. You don't wait till. The season starts. Uh, the first practice, you've got to, again, and nobody can do that apart from the player. They have got, to, they have got to do it themselves. Uh, no one's can, because again, no one's like so watching behind can, uh, and looking behind them doing it. They, you have to want to do it, and I've got a feeling these players actually want to do that. So, can I'm, I'm looking forward to the season starting. As am I. Um, now, in, as well as as player recruitment, um, there's a few roles which can be filled by volunteers and, and Warriors fans, isn't there? So maybe you could talk us through that and, and what the club's looking for right now. Yeah, we're, we're, at the moment, we're, uh, I think uh, there's been advertising for uh, an equipment manager, an experienced equipment manager, uh, which obviously we're, we're, we're looking at. Uh, we haven't had a, we've not had a lot of people at the moment but obviously it just went out but we're looking for an experienced one because it's a big part of the team to make sure the players are prepared off ice and again making sure everything's ready for when they come into the dressing room uh, so yeah that'd be great uh, and obviously uh, the volunteer other volunteer side uh, that's Willie's side but I think uh, I'll leave it up to him to the, let you guys know what he, what they need uh, uh, and Elaine I think who uh, who's been running it for, very successfully over the years so 
Uh, yeah, I'll leave that side of today, guys. But uh, the first of the season, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Yes, Tony, one of the positions we are looking to fill is um, is somebody to record the games with a video camera for Warriors TV. Yeah, that would be fantastic, Adam. Uh, we're actually looking for somebody who can possibly in the surrounding area universities uh, around in the northeast and somebody who's doing media studies or a camera operator who's is obviously doing that as part of their their, their curriculum uh for, for the uni or college places would be fantastic because it's a it's a great tool to like to get experienced doing uh filming games uh, and i know it's something that you know obviously people are passionate about if if, if the opportunity is there so if there is somebody out there who would or somebody could put us in contact with somebody that would be fantastic yeah, that's great. Um, well, Tony, I want to wish you the best of luck for the rest of the summer and uh, and hope the plans go uh, well according to plan. No, thanks very much. I'm, I'm not really, I just say, keeps sort of reiterating myself. I'm really looking forward to uh, getting down there and working with the players. I know the kind of players are can, got a good team there and a good bunch of guys. And uh, as I say, we can't wait till the season's starting now. Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll see you in August. Okay, thank you very much, guys.